Okay, so this is my screencast of my mousetrap car. As you can see here, I've got my two graphs. I have a position time graph, and I also have an instantaneous velocity versus a time graph. Okay, so let's kind of look at this a little better. All right, as you can see here, this is my position graph. My car started going up, 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 and it stayed at a constant. And right here is where it stopped and was at zero. If you, we would have had the rest of the data, you would have seen it going down, and it just got really funky and nasty. So we just stopped that, okay? So, um, total, it went about six meters. We can tell that from the displacement of the of the uh, velocity time graph. Okay, so my mouse in my car uh, was about roughly, I don't know, uh, 15 grams. I, I can, I'm not exactly sure. The data was funky. It was really weird. It was hard to do. Okay, so let's keep going here. What else do we have here? Meters. All right, so total velocity of the car. Um, Joseph, where do we find total velocity? Okay. Let me, uh, let me, uh... Oh, uh, okay, hold on. You're asking the wrong dude. Gilbert, come over here. Huh. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to find right? total velocity of this car. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know what your video is on, right? Uh, how do I find total velocity? It's 2278. You can help me find it. Okay. Oh, Thanks. So, yeah, total velocity is, um, hold on one second, let me pause it. Okay, I'm back. So, the max velocity is either the area underneath the position time graph or the slope of the velocity graph. So, right here, you can see the slope of my velocity graph is 0.02 meters per second. That is my max velocity. Alright, so... Let's look at my velocity graph really. and it's a little weird, I know that. Um, the data came in weird. As you can do, we did this auto fit right here. So the auto fit gives us all this information right here where I'm moving my mouse cursor. So we got all that good stuff for the velocity graph. On here we have the rest of the velocity graph. Okay. This is when it's going downward and this is when it's going up. Alright, now let's look to see if I have the... Now let's see if, look, see if I have the pictures of my wonderful the rest of my mouse trap. Try it's any it, so let's see what's going on here. And it's still not in. Let me pause this video one more time and look for the videos. I mean the pictures of my mouse trap. So my energy flow diagram and force diagram. Alright, perfect. The screencast is now going to be continued. Alright, got my energy flow diagram right here on the left, and I got my force diagram on the right. As you can see, this is my car before it moves, this is my car after it moves, this is my system, alright? So kinetic energy is at about a zero when it's staying still out, and elastic energy is up. And then we can see here, elastic energy is being dissipated, kinetic energy goes up. Alright, so the equation equals E minus E dis equals kinetic energy, okay? So, here's my force diagram. As you can see, my system is my car, and this force diagram is when it's speeding up. Alright, and so this is the force of the flow. Oh, that's cute, I spelled flow wrong. Alright, so the surface is going to the right, gravity is going down, of course. And when down, friction is pushing that way, causing it to slow down, and the floor is going, and gravity is going down. And that basically concludes my cast. Alright, so, please be nice when you're grading this, Mr. Dan. I like you a lot, you're a cool teacher, and you're the homie. Alright, have a good day.